Welcome to D Ross MMA Boxing. You know what makes Terrence Crawford such a special fighter is his ability to make adjustments in the ring. You know, some fighters are just one way and they have a one track mind, and once they get on that course, they can't seem to deviate from that course. But Bud Crawford plays chess in the ring and he's able to make his adjustments on the fly. His fight versus Kell Brook is a perfect example of that. In this fight, Kell Brook jab was causing so much problems you know the jab me many people believe that it starts up top but if you pay very close attention you'll see that the battle was at the feet you know Kell Brook's foot was actually serving as a barrier a wedge between him and Terrence Crawford and at some times it appeared that his toes was facing at a three o'clock position and as Bud Crawford was trying to get his distance to come on the inside, he would have to step around that lead foot, and which will cause him to get punched, get hit with a right hand, get hit with a jab or a hook. And it was very difficult for him in the, in the, in the first rounds. If you don't believe me, just hear from Bud Crawford himself. Counter Crawford. He's trying to get Crawford. Well, I was just trying to gauge the distance. You know, he had good distance, you know, and I was trying to find my rhythm in between, you know, uh, getting my distance. So he was together. having a difficult time finding his distance, getting his range. Even though he had the reach advantage, he wasn't able to punch at a comfortable position. And so he wanted to try to get around. So you saw him moving around in the ring. But he was basically trying to get around that lead foot. And it would cause him um, to actually get countered a lot in the first two rounds. Admit, so now in the third the round, Terrence Crawford realized, you know what? Let me switch to southpaw and I will be able to counter that jab. So he began to throw a jab and try to go over um, the left hand of Kell Brook. And so he found success in that round. But it wasn't until the fourth round where he really realized how to utilize his southpaw stance to defeat Kell Brook. You know, once Bud Crawford gets into his rhythm, he is a very dangerous fighter. He is uh, very uh, uh, savvy in there. And so in the fourth round, he had, his pe he had a little more pep in his step because he had him figured out. And then he started to jab over the top of that December lead hand, which took away Kell Brook's jab. But he wasn't satisfied with just taking away Paul the Stance jab. He wanted to it's finish him because away. Bud Crawford Paul is Stance a is finisher. So the, the way away. he sets this knockout up is by, you see him using his, his right hand as a measurement to measure and to time Kell Brook. And the moment he drops that hand slightly, just enough to invite Kell Brook to come on the inside, then he brings his hand back up and lands that powerful hook. He has knocked out many fighters with this counter hook. And it's a very tough, beautiful punch. And he lands it very accurately. And in this case, he landed it on Kell Brook's eye and he was able to get the finish. You know, the rest is history at this point. We don't need to break down the rest of it. But if you have any questions regarding Bud Crawford's punching power, just look at Kell Brook's shoulder. Look at how uh, he's able to shake up Kell Brook's body just by punching him in the shoulder. That's a man that's got punching power and is punching with authority. You know, Kell Brook is a good fighter and not too many people, in fact, only one per, only two people in his career were able to finish him, but none were able to finish him within four rounds. And Terrence Bud Crawford was able to take him out, and it was because he used uh, his yeah, counter punching ability, Terrence his Crawford ring IQ, and finishers. his ability to adjust on the fly. This is D Rod's M Man Boxing. If you like more videos like this where I break down fights, Please hit the like button, subscribe, share the video. On to the next one. Peace out.